Hey everyone, what's up? It's um your favorite tech enthusiast here with some exciting news in the world of image editing. Today we're diving into the brand new release of GIMP 3.0. Yes, the highly anticipated update to the popular open source image editor is finally here and ready for download. So let's get into it. The development team behind GIMP has been busy polishing this update and trust me, there's a lot to love. First off, GIMP 3.0 brings a completely refined user interface built with GTK3. Now, you can use your mouse scroll wheel to flip through dockable dialogue tabs, which um, makes navigating a breeze. Plus, there's a cool new splash screen and logo, and even the legacy icon theme got a makeover so that everything looks amazing on high DPI screens. But that's not all. One of the biggest upgrades in GIMP 3.0 is uh, the massive improvement in color management. If you're serious about getting your colors just right, this update is a game changer. They've also introduced a stable public API, so plugins and scripts from the GIMP 2.10 series can be ported over more easily. That means um, a whole new level of compatibility and functionality for your favorite tools. Let's talk features. Now, you can load layers from TIFF files saved in the Autodesk sketchbook format. GIMP 3.0 supports 64 bits per pixel images for the BMP format. And there's an optional merge filters checkbox for non-destructive editing that merges filters immediately after you commit them. Plus, they've added non-destructive filters on layer groups and even stored versions of filters in the XCF project files. There's even more. The Gaggle and Babel components got updated with neat filters like Inner Glow, Bevel, and Giggle styles. Some plugins have received small enhancements too. And now exporting images with different settings while keeping your original intact. Yup, that's a feature now. They didn't stop there. GIMP 3.0 also introduces a brand new PDB call for a script few writers a fresh named argument syntax and support for loading 16 bits per channel LAB PSD files along with DDS images with the BC7 support, early binding CMYK support, check. Plus, there's support for PSB and even JPEG XL image formats. And for all you layout and alignment buffs out there, there are new auto expanding layer boundaries, snapping options, a revamped alignment tool, and support for layer sets, replacing the old linked layers concept. It's a lot to take in, but it means your workflow is about to get a serious upgrade. Now, if you're wondering how to get your hands on it, here's the scoop. GIMP 3.0 is available as a Flatpak app directly from Flathub. Perfect for GNOME or KDE Plasma users. You can also download it as a universal app image bundle from the official website, which works on almost any Linux distribution or compile it from source if that's your thing. So, um, that's the lowdown on GIMP 3.0. Packed with new features and improvements that are sure how to elevate your image editing experience. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech updates and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the new release. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.